In this procedure, we're going to hook up an Alley Cat flow meter. I have our inline tester here to demonstrate. We're going to hook this up and calibrate it. Here's an example of our inline tester, which is just another Alley Cat installed on a quick connect that goes into the unit. This is a battery operated unit with a magnahelic gauge. We can verify the magnahelic pressure available to the unit is correct and we can actually read the flow. If the flow rate on this alley cat is over 10% difference than the, the screen display, which comes from another alley cat, then we have an issue. So we're going to use this to do our calibrations and I have a calibration sheet. So basically this is calibrated from the factory. And we're not really going to do the calibration. So when we say we're calibrating that the alley cat, we're actually calibrating the analog input to our processor. And then we're going to hook up the alley cat back up and hit the tear button. Well, we've got some uh, little different features here than most of our other calibrations. So we're going to go through it. First of all, we use what is an old eight pin micro DIN serial cable. And I have been bought these adapters and it's put in each process meter box that we have in, uh, in the facility. And what that means is you are going to be calibrating from the point where the cable plugs into the alley cap because we have to take into account the resistance of the wire and some of these cables are over a hundred foot long. So we're going to be calibrating from the point it plugs in. So we're going to unplug the cable out of the alley cap, the existing alley cap, Go ahead and change it. Now the alley cats are not loop powered. They have a separate 24 volt pin. So you can use this adapter for troubleshooting. Uh, if this is hooked up correctly, I should have 24 volts on this pin right, right here. And the pin out is provided in the manual. I have a picture of it right here. And that is in the same container as this little adapter that I've ordered. So we're going to plug up this adapter. I've already hooked up my meter. Here is our sheet with our values on it. Get this right here. So we've hooked up our meters and we're going to be simulating a signal. So all we really got to do is simulate the high signal. In this example here, I'm showing that at 20.04 milliamps, my actual output was 250.4 liters per minute. That is now my max scale. My min scale is 4 milliamps and of course zero. But we're going to start with the max. So I take my calibration sheet. And I take those max values. This is the signal I will inject with the meter. And this is my max value. So I take 250.55 and I put that as my max. So let's take this down and you'll see I've already done that. So my max value is 250.4. Min is here. And right now I'm currently injecting a 20.04 milliamp signal. Now, our PLC input slightly off. It says we have a 20.052 milliamp signal, but my process meter is calibrated and I'm going through the wires, so I don't really care if the PLC is a little bit out of spec. We're just going to call this the high end because I'm injecting the correct signal. So I'm going to take 20.052 and make sure that I put that as my raw, max raw. All right. So now I'm going to hook my meter back up. I'm going to power my meter back up. I've done that. Done, done with the process meter. We can turn it off. Unplug the cable.
and you should be able to see the tear function in the right hand corner. You need to let this set for a few minutes and, and stabilize. Make sure you don't bump it or move it around. You're going to hit the tear button. That's going to tear it to zero and send the low signal. We don't really care what the, the meter says. We only care what zero means. So whatever zero sent to the PLC, we're going to call it zero. And right now, we are sending 3.992 milliamps signal. So that now becomes, I don't really care about the, the calibration sheet because this is zero. We're, we're tearing to zero. That's always going to be a little different. So our low signal now is 3.992. When I do that, uh, my present scale, the calculation should have zeroed out, and we are done with calibration. Update the install date, expire date from one, the year, one year from the date you installed it. Gauge number of the device, serial number of the device, and turn in the calibration sheet with a quick note of where you installed it into the QA office.